Hello all you Minecrafters and welcome back for another episode with me, Fridge. So, today we are doing another um, kit in Vanilla Minecraft from the Shotbow Networks game Annihilation. So let's get into some screenshots and I'll show you a little bit about the kit. Alright, so here we go. There's one hook and he's got a grapple so he gets away. And here we are on the yellow team. Let's get this guy. Get him back off the bridge. We don't need him. And grapple one more guy. Bam, hook, and there we go. As you guys just saw, today's kit will be Scorpio. So here is my testing facility that I've been working on. There's Iceman from a little while ago. And uh, so here we go. We got our uh, sheep pen over here. And I want to get these sheep into this pen because I like them in the pen so much more than down here. Let's spawn a little more in. All right. Let's go get my Scorpio kit, and let's get things started. So, this button says Scorpio on. All right, I got my snowball. Let's go to my fence post. Game mode zero. Huh. Nice. All right, so we got our sheep. He's in my sheep pen now. And look at that. It reloaded all by itself. All right, so we hooked our sheep back in there. It's okay. And we got another sheep. Perfect. Alright, so as you can see, it works very similar to how the game goes. I can hook things towards me, right? And I can hook things from far distances as well. And there he goes. Alright, so that was the demonstration. This also works on mobs, so time set night. Bam, wait for them to spawn in. Let's just get some zombies here. We're not going to wait for no spawners to work. But as you can see, bam, get away from my villager, buddy. All right, off they go. Oh, there's my guardian spawner. Off he goes. All right, so let's get in to how this works. So over here, we have all our commands, right? Each one serves a different purpose for each different mob. So as you can see, this looks a lot bigger and more complicated than the one over here. But it works pretty much off some of the same principles as the one over there. As Iceman. So, for this Scorpio, we had to use a different um, set of commands for each different mob. I could have done them on, all on one big fill clock, but I decided to display it like this to make it a little easier. Um, so, one of the first things we needed to do, obviously, was to set up um, create the Scorpio scoreboard. Alright, so this is just selecting the kit and putting it on the sidebar. Alright, so let's just turn this off. And as you can see, my snowball disappears, just like the Iceman one. And then over here we have an objective called Snowball Teleport. So this is another one that we had to do. And I'll explain why. Let's get rid of that. So, as you can see, when I will throw this snowball, there'll be something that pops up on the right side. Alright? Let me just throw a snowball really far away so you can see that. And over there, that is the name that the game recognizes as that snowball. And when I throw it, it gets a score of zero. All right? So we'll explain that in a second. And the third scoreboard that I had to make was has item. So when I have the item in my hand, I get one. When I don't, I have zero. All right. Very good. Now, how does this work, you may be wondering? Well... It is quite simple, but uses the stats command. So let's go over to my friend Robert the Spider here. And the first thing we had to do was obviously make the mob come towards you, so being teleported. So what this does is it will execute at a snowball, all right? So at the snowball, where it is, it will teleport um, the type equaling spider within a radius of three. So as you saw while I was throwing stuff, sometimes when I was really close to other other mobs, um, you know, say I wanted to get that sheep over there, right? I would throw it, wait, and then this one would come here. That That's because it's a radius of three. Now I could change that, but then it's a little harder to hit and becomes a little more of a nuisance. All right, now another thing that this does. So it teleports 
this spider, all right, to the person with the Scorpio score. So it won't teleport you to an Iceman. It'll teleport you only to a person with the Scorpio score of one. So if I have the kit off, let's grab some snowballs here. If the kit is off. Oops, that's turning it on. All right, if the kit is off and I have snowballs, this will not work. All right, if I have the kit on and this has snowballs, this will work. But for demonstration purposes, I have one and I call it the hook. All right, so after it teleports the um, spider to me with the Scorpio score, I had to figure out how to not teleport multiple uh, entities at once. As you can see, I can teleport the sheep and the sheep and the skeleton. But before, I was having them all being teleported at once. So what I had to do was I had to make a snowball score on the scoreboard. So it sets all snowballs to snowball teleport score of zero. All right. So when it does this, that means it has zero, and then it will just keep flying, and that means it hasn't yet hit any um, entities. Once it hits an entity, the stats command comes in, and it will be recording how many times this works, and it will add the snowball teleport score to a score of one at the snowball that hit it. So as soon as it hits the skeleton, it will immediately be killed off. So any snowball that gets a snowball teleport score of one will immediately be killed. So that way I don't get a massive group of um, you know, sheep or a massive group of people all being teleported to me at the same time. right? So that follows the way the kit works and et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, basically once it gets the score, it dies and only one can be teleported. So that is basically all you have to know for the teleporting. But then there's a reload time. So if I go on game mode one, or zero, pardon me, I throw my snowball, and away it goes. And now I don't have a snowball. But then it gives me back a snowball using, oops, I almost jumped off there, using these, um, this command clock. So this one here tests for a player with an has item score of zero and a Scorpio score of one. So while I'm Scorpio and I have a snowball in my hand, or if I don't have a snowball like this, then this one turns on, I put it on a little delay, and then it will give only to people with zero a, mine, a Minecraft snowball with the name Hook. All right, so that is why we had to create this um, scoreboard objective of has item. So once I throw it, because this one's being doing the test for, right, and once I throw it, this one comes on, or uh, sorry, this one resets automatically because it's the first one. And as the second one, this one will give me a score of one when I don't have it. So if I have it, I get a one. And even though it went all the way through, it doesn't give me one. So this way I can, you know, catch villagers. Bam. I can catch zombies. Whoops, there's a barrier block in the way. I can catch zombies. I can catch creepers. I can catch skeletons. I can catch slimes. I can catch guardians. Zombie pigmen, spiders, squids, pigs, cows, and sheep. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I am working on the transporter, which is a little bit confusing. But until then, I'll see you all next time.